Autonomous cars rule the road at CES 2017. Everyone from BMW to Ford to Hyundai showed off their self-driving car technology. It knows there's a crosswalk here, so it had stopped and shown even a little yellow. There it is. That says, okay. When you see that, it means I've detected a pedestrian and I'm making a decision based on that that says I'm stopped for that reason. So now we're all clear, it goes on its own. If you're a car company and you don't have an autonomous vehicle offering, um, you're gonna go the way of a lot of uh, tech companies that didn't keep up with tech paradigm shifts in their industry. In the future, the controls of your car may not be on your dashboard. They may be in the air. BMW's concept car has holograms to start the car, play music, or even shop but with tactile feedback, so it feels like you're pressing a button. So these three components work in tandem. So when you see, for example, a start button now, you can very slowly with a single finger dive into this and you felt a haptic feedback. It definitely yeah. gave me feedback. Yeah. Each seat has its own speakers built into the headrest. And because only the driver can see the hologram, video calls could be more private. You take the call, the audio is switched off, I continue to listen to Beethoven, and to, you listen to the, the conversation you are having. And you can't see or hear I Patricia can see. like I no. can see Patricia no. right yeah. now. Yeah. In addition to being your ride, cars are becoming a sort of remote control for your smart home. Hyundai and Ford have incorporated virtual assistants like Amazon's Alexa and Google Home, so your car can connect with your smart home devices. Alexa, set the thermostat to 68 degrees. Setting thermostat heat to 68. Perfect. So um, this actually communicated to my home in Michigan from Las Vegas. So the temperature of my house is now going to go to 68 degrees. <laughs> wow, so the distance doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, yes. Yeah, went over the internet. Same yep. network. Yep. If you're not driving your car, what are you doing inside your car? Automakers are envisioning a new place to work or relax. Microsoft is working on putting Skype and Office features into cars to help with productivity. Because what the assistant does, the assistant knows about you and about your calendar, and when it finds an I appointment, have found a for example, for tonight, 8 p.m. with Susan. Do you want to book a restaurant? Yes. Show me the best restaurants. Here are the top three restaurants close to your destination. Toyota unveiled a concept car that is a feature called chauffeur mode, which reclines the driver's seat, sets mood lighting, and even blows cool air on your neck. And you should even be receiving a little bit of a lower back massage. Yeah, I'm that, feeling that. Yeah. Is that some air blowing at my neck too? Yeah, you feel that? <laughs> yeah. Faraday Future hopes to be the car for now. The electric car maker that wants to compete against Tesla unveiled its FF91 production model, which Faraday says will hit the road in 2018. For more on CES 2017, go to CNET.com. In Las Vegas, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.